Doctors today want to know more about their business. They want to see detailed analysis and graphic reports showing the performance of their practice on a monthly basis. In the past, doctors did not inquire much about the capabilities of the software used by the billing service because the billing functions were limited to filing claims only. But with the increased demand of full practice management, doctors need to learn more today about what kind of reports you're going to be able to provide them. For example, they would like to see detailed receivable reports, insurance payment performance charts, insurance charges and reimbursement analysis, productivity reports per provider, and several other marketing and financial reports. If you can provide samples of such reports when you meet with doctors, their interest level in doing business with you will increase significantly. At CleanTech, we develop our own software for professional billers and doctors based on many years of experience in this business. We have invested several million dollars and several years into building a top-of-the-line professional medical billing and practice management software that is unparalleled in the industry. Our competitors are all renting some other company's software and reselling it to you. Upgrades come only at the mercy of unconnected third parties' efforts. That's not being first. That's being customer last. Even worse, some of our competitors try to persuade you to accept very simple, unprofessional software that uses the Internet. They try to make you think that just because it is used on the Internet, that it is powerful enough for a professional billing service. So a critical point of comparison is the software itself. Hello, and welcome to the MedOffice Overview. We appreciate your interest in ClaimTech Systems' medical billing and practice management business opportunity. In this brief overview of our software, I'd like to show you a combination of features that can help you not just operate a professional medical billing service, but how to also use the software and promote and market your business. Software is no longer just a tool that can assist in the back office. Nowadays, with the right software system, you can impress doctors with far more advanced technologies than they're accustomed to. Our MedOffice system will help you operate a professional enterprise-level business. You'll have a great deal of advantage to grow without high overhead costs. In this presentation, I would like to show you the cycle of how the whole thing works, how to set up a practice, enter patients and insurance information, generate a claim, send claims electronically, receive money, generate patient statements, generate reports, and some other functions that can be extremely useful to doctors that you service. Before getting started, though, I would like to list some of the important elements of our software. MedOffice is compliant with the latest healthcare regulations. ICD-10 compliant. EDI-5010 electronic claims compliant. HIPAA compliant. MedOffice allows you to bill for any specialty. It includes the two main insurance forms, the CMS-1500 and the CMS-1450. MedOffice runs on your computer and or online as a cloud system. It provides secure online access from anywhere, 24-7. MedOffice allows for remote access for doctors and employees. You can track employee hours and productivity online. MedOffice allows you to bill for an unlimited number of clinics and providers. You save big money here. There are no monthly software fees and no monthly provider fees. MedOffice allows you to submit claims to multiple clearinghouses, so you're not just limited to one like most systems. MedOffice allows you to submit additional documentation with electronic claims, and you can also do dental billing, and that's available through our Dent Office software. Let me take you into the system so you can take a closer look at the software. First, there's a secure login screen with users and databases. To log into a practice, choose the practice and log in with the username and password. View one database at a time to avoid mistakes, especially with employees. Notice that once you've signed in, all the icons come to life. Now you're working with that practice. What I would like to explain first are the icons at the top and side of the program. 
They're shortcuts for you to use to find the most commonly used functions so you don't have to jump all over the place to find what it is you're looking for. If you look under the top menus, you'll find additional features. MetOffice gives multiple areas to access information so you never feel lost in what it is you're doing. MetOffice incorporates high sophistication in its features, yet it's easy to use. In this industry, you'll need a sophisticated system because you'll be dealing with all kinds of specialties. It also needs to be easy to use for training, productivity, and cost-cutting purposes. Many systems in the marketplace promote simplicity as a key feature. Beware of this, because simplicity alone often lacks the features that can help your business to be productive, to strive, and grow. Be cautious when looking into software. If the software you're looking into is solely a web-based system, then right off the bat you lose control of that business. You'll end up paying excessive fees as you grow, and you'll be held hostage by the hosting company that controls that software. In most cases, if the software company is hosting your information, they control your data as well. We can elaborate on this and why it's so critical to learn about it in a personal conversation. If you wish to have further clarification on this subject or anything else being discussed in the presentation, then please contact your business startup manager for further explanation. Now let's get started by showing you how to set up a practice in the system. First, you will go to the file menu and select new practice. You will enter in all the information for the new practice. Once your new practice has been created, you can start the setup process for this practice. You will start by entering in the insurance companies and the patients that this doctor works with. Keep in mind, as you set up the doctor's practice, the system gives you substantial flexibility. For instance, when setting up the doctor's insurance companies and patient records, you have the ability to enter them in one at a time. Or, if the doctor can export his insurance and patient information, you have the ability to upload all of them at once from the file. This can save you countless hours in the setup process. We have also included additional features for creating a new practice quickly. For example, if you're currently working with a doctor and another similar specialty is picked up to provide service to, then you can quickly transfer some data tables from the existing database to the new practice. Data tables such as insurance companies' lists, diagnosis and procedure codes, fee schedules, etc. Again, this can save you countless hours when setting up your new doctor's practice. Our system, unlike most web-based systems on the market, gives you full control of your data. You're not held hostage by the hosting company, and you can export your data at any time as it's needed for free. This alone can save a doctor or billing company thousands of dollars. There are certain things you can default in the system so you don't have to struggle with them later. For instance, fee schedules, so that your pricing is automated when entering claims. The system has intelligence and it gives you a great deal of flexibility. When entering your procedure and diagnosis codes for the practice, you can choose to import or enter only the specific number of codes or just import all the codes to the system at once. Continue to set up your practice by entering in the Medicare options that you wish to use, setting up the providers, the laboratories, and all other contacts that may be needed for the practice, like the attorneys, employers, facilities, locations, or any other contact that's needed. You can also create alerts that can help communications between the billing company and the doctor's office. You can even create custom fields for any additional personal information to be stored in the chart. This is a fantastic tool to remember patients' personal preference information. This can help you improve patient relations and keep them coming back to the office time and time again. MedOffice provides a perfect win-win solution for you and for your doctors. For example, doctors can access remotely and use certain exciting features and functions that relate to their daily in-house administration. Some of these features include the super bill generator, the advanced scheduler, the point of sale system, customizable financial reports, and there's a variety of other features that can help with the in-office administration. These are value-added services that can have an immense value for a doctor and their staff. 
These features will allow the office to streamline some of their administrative responsibilities and provide them with more time to focus on patient care. You can also allow doctors more visibility into their accounts. For example, if they give you claims today, they can log in and see that those claims have been processed in a timely fashion. This level of transparency gives doctors peace of mind regarding your performance, which gives you and your company the credibility and the professional image it needs to succeed and grow. Let me demonstrate how this is so helpful with super bills, for example. First, let me explain what a super bill is. A super bill is an itemized form used by healthcare providers to reflect rendered services in their practice. It's a list of the most common diagnosis and procedure codes that the clinic uses. This form is the main data source for creating a healthcare claim, which will be submitted to the insurance companies for reimbursement. In MedOffice, you can design an automated super bill for every doctor in the practice and connect it right to the scheduler. If you sign up a new doctor, you can request a copy of their super bill so you can integrate it right into MedOffice for them. The system makes it easy for you. You just do some data entry. Enter the categories and the codes under each category. You do not have to design the columns, rows, or headers. And once you've finished, the system will generate it for you. It's interactive and it brings patients right from the scheduler from that day and puts their information onto a personalized and serialized super bill for each doctor in the practice. This is a benefit to the doctors because they won't need to waste time manually personalizing super bills for every patient. They also can track them very easily because they're all serialized. This feature is also helpful to you, the billing company, because as a biller, you'll always receive a clean form back from the doctor's office. You can also use this tool to help connect and cement your relationships with your clients and to sell more services. The advanced scheduler has the ability to quickly make or move patient appointments and edit them. You can add a patient on the fly, and the system automatically creates a new patient chart for them. Now all you have to do is add some additional information when they walk into the office. Let me show you something neat that's going to save you time. You can just enter the patient's zip code, and it will automatically enter the city and state for you. Now, an additional option for them to facilitate patient intake even faster is the card swipe module. You can scan IDs for patient intake. This module also doubles as a credit card processor as well. Now, let's go back to the scheduler. You can also set repeat appointments very quickly and even customize the colors to your doctor's personal preferences if you wish. This scheduler is a value-added service that you can give doctors access to for free without any additional cost to you, the billing company. You also have the ability to transmit the scheduler directly to a Google Calendar. Doctors love this feature. They can view their patients' appointments on their smartphones from anywhere on the go. Now, I touched lightly on credit card processing, but I'd like to show you that we also include a point-of-sale system inside of MedOffice. This is so doctors can track all of the products and services that they sell out of their office that are unassociated with insurance billing. This can be an enormous benefit for doctors' accounting and inventory management. They can track and manage their inventory, set reorder levels, generate patient statements, and even accept credit cards directly through the point-of-sale system. One of the most important features is our in-depth financial reporting console. First, you'll notice that we provide a variety of aging reports. Our system differentiates patient aging from insurance aging, so your patients never receive a bill that is not totally accurate. Now, there are over a hundred reports, each of which can be filtered in a variety of ways. So you can find the exact financial information at the touch of a button whenever it's needed. A great part about these reports is that they're already designed for you. You just set the parameters of the filters to enhance your searches. This means that you have over a thousand detailed specific reports at your fingertips at all times. This is another value-added service that can be provided to your doctor free of charge, and there's no additional cost to you.
I want to open up just a few of these so I can show you how amazing this system truly is. I'd like to point out some details. Notice how the report displays the address and phone number for the insurance company and displays the specific information related to the patient account. This is designed for the purpose of helping you make follow-up calls without opening other screens to look up the additional information. You may also want to just shut down your computer due to a storm or simply print this report and sit at your kitchen table and do your follow-up calls. For added convenience, you can export any of these reports to a PDF, Excel, Word format, rich text format, or others. There are many different types of reports that you can choose from. There are aging reports like I just showed you. There are claim-related reports, financial, general practice reports that can provide the doctor with an understanding of exactly where their practice stands today, this month, last month, and their year-to-date totals. And that's fantastic for any doctor to use on a daily basis. These graphic reports can also be used to help sell your doctor clients. By providing the doctor with peace of mind, these reports are able to show how well each doctor performs in the office. For example, the charge by provider report shows which doctor is bringing in the most money to the practice so they can adjust performance when necessary. Or how about the charge by diagnosis or procedure code so they have a better understanding of what patients they're marketing to. How about the referred by graph? This shows the doctor where their patients are coming from. Now that can play a huge role in how they market their business and it can save them from wasting money on unsuccessful marketing campaigns. You can also generate patient labels to send birthday cards or patient statements. How about generating insurance or patient ledgers when needed or even sending out letters to a variety of patients on the fly? And this is great for when you're doing collections for your doctors. What about being able to send out letters to every patient with a particular diagnosis because a new treatment for that disease was discovered? Do you think that the patients would appreciate knowing about a new cure for their illness? Do you think they would drive business back to the doctor's office if you were able to do that? The answer is yes, absolutely. There are also list, practice, and summary reports available for you to take a look at. To go deeper into all the different reports, we suggest downloading a demo copy of the MedOffice software and working with it for yourself. Now let's open up the patient's chart and review all the information. You'll notice that under the patient's chart, all the information is centered under one screen. And you can navigate to these different sections of the chart on the tabs located on the bottom. These tabs will help you navigate through the chart. In the first tab, the general info, you'll have all the patient's personal information, their name, address, telephone, email, emergency contact information, and so on and so forth. There is a picture that is automatically generated for each patient based off of their age and gender. If you or the doctor's office chooses, there's the ability to insert real pictures of each patient. At the bottom, you'll also see the estimated patient portion owed. At the top of the chart, pay close attention to the Jump To drop-down list because this can give you quick ways to navigate to other functions for this specific patient. Note that you can pull up patient statements at any time right from this Jump To section. There are 14 different statements that you can choose from depending upon what information you'd like to be displayed on each statement. Here's an example of a basic statement. Now let's look at a more detailed statement with an area for them to include their credit card information for payment purposes. Continuing on to the second tab of the patient's chart, this is where you'll enter the employer information, as well as any alerts that may need to be set for this patient. For instance, I can use the top arrows to navigate from patient to patient, and if I open up a patient's chart with an alert, it will pop up and tell me what I need to know about said patient. This works as a messaging system between your billing company and your doctor's staff. And this happens when you provide remote access into the software. Let's continue now to the insurance information section of the chart. Please take notice that all the possible insurance information is on one screen for ease of use. No more jumping around from screen to screen to view the primary, 
secondary, or tertiary insurance information. Our system also gives you the ability to have multiple primary insurance accounts for one patient. Now this is very helpful when creating new primary insurance companies for workers' compensation claims or auto accidents. This also allows for proper financial reporting when multiple primary insurance accounts are used for one specific patient. The next tab is where you can add in any additional information about the patient, their provider, facility, referring physician, attorney, laboratory, supervising physician, or outside primary care physician. You'll associate the patient's copay and fee schedules on this screen as well. The next tab will be where you will enter in any diagnoses, symptoms, accidents, or worker compensation information. The next tab will list where any custom fields that you may have associated with this patient's chart are located. An example of this would be a pediatric clinic. They may want to remember the favorite lollipop flavor of a child, or maybe their favorite color to provide a warm sense of personal care about each one of their patients. The next tab is connected to the scheduler to easily see if this patient is scheduled for an appointment on this day. The Patient Notes tab is a wonderful feature that allows the doctors to type or dictate patient notes quickly and easily for future reference. It's a great tool to use if the doctor ever needs to refer this patient to another facility because it allows you to print or save the notes to a disk and send them directly to the referring physician or facility by an encrypted email. The last tab under the patient's chart is the miscellaneous tab. This will allow your doctor's office to keep government forms handy in electronic format so they can quickly complete them and send them to the specific agency. This again saves the doctor's time in the administrative duties and allows them to focus more on patient care. Here, for instance, is a CMN, or Certificate of Medical Necessity. The patient's and facility information is automatically generated, and then the doctor just needs to narrate, sign, date, and either print or save and send that document to the designated agency. Now that we've reviewed the patient's chart, let's take a closer look at the billing process. I'm sure that by now you've noticed that our system gives you multitasking functionality. And this is imperative to operate an efficient and successful billing company. Not having the ability to access multiple screens at one time can limit your ability to provide efficient service to your doctor's offices. You see, tasks that could usually be performed in minutes can take a great deal longer if you're limited to only using one screen at a time. This reduces your output of production, which means you make less money per hour worked. This is directly affected by the system you choose to run your business. As mentioned earlier, MedOffice supports the two main forms in the medical arena, the CMS 1500 and the CMS 1450. This makes it possible for you to market to any specialty in healthcare. The CMS 1500 is the most commonly used form. However, you still have companies that require additional documentation on the 1500. For instance, durable medical equipment companies, ambulance services, ERs, and so on. ClaimTech offers Dent Office for dental billing as well. Accordingly, with ClaimTech, your company can offer services to the entire spectrum of specialties in the healthcare market, giving you an edge over any competition out there. Now, it's imperative when running a billing company that you're able to support both of these forms because if you can't, you'll lose out on possible accounts that may come your way. The last thing that you would want as a business owner is to have a potential client and have to turn away their business because your system doesn't support the necessary functions that are required to provide them service. And this happens far too often with web-based systems. Now, to enter a claim, first open the claim entry window. Then pull up the patient you wish to work on. Now enter the procedure code and press the tab key. All the other information for this claim will automatically be entered because of the system's intuition from the setup process. Now just save the claim. You can then view the claim in full form if you prefer. And that is just how simple it is to enter a claim with MedOffice. 
let's enter just a few more so you can see some of the additional features that can be taken advantage of as you learn your doctor's billing process. For example, if you're working with a doctor with just a limited number of claims, then you can set up quick entry keys to streamline your data entry. Let me show you. If you enter a claim into this field, you can edit the quick entry box for FASTA data entry. Now when you go back to the claim entry form, you only have to type that specific key to enter the procedure code. Now another helpful function is that you can link CPTs together. For instance, if there was a hip manipulation, and every time this procedure took place, the doctor must also align the knee and align the lower leg to make sure the entire leg is in line. Well then, you can just link those CPTs together so that every time you enter the first one, the others automatically populate. This ability to personalize specific databases for quicker claim entry allows your business to be extremely productive. The next thing I'd like to show you is very powerful. It's called Revenue Cycle Automation. This section of our software is really unmatched in the industry. As you can see here under the patient's claim entry page, the patient's insurance companies are listed in the upper right hand corner. Next to each of these insurance companies, there are red and green lights that tell you which insurance company has been billed or paid so far. When you fully apply a payment to a claim, the red light will then turn green. This shows that the insurance company has paid the doctor and all the payments have been posted to that specific account. When the light turns green, the claim will then automatically batch to the secondary insurance or tertiary insurance company. Allow me to demonstrate this. Here in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see all of your past claims that have been billed for this patient. If you view this claim and all the red lights are showing, that means that the claim's been filed, but no payment has been received yet. Now I'll pick a claim that was paid and the payment was posted to the patient's account. Let's now view this claim. As you can see, the secondary insurance company's information is now automatically entered into the claim form to be batched and sent to the clearinghouse or insurance companies. If there were a tertiary insurance company, once the secondary is paid, the claim would then generate to be sent to the tertiary insurance company automatically. If there is only a primary, then after the primary's payment is posted to the claim, the claim will disappear and the accurate patient statement will be available to print or save. When you need to print your patient statements, you can print them individually by clicking on the patient statement tab in the jump to menu, as I demonstrated earlier, or you can also choose to print all of your patient statements at one time, and I'll demonstrate that at the end of the video. Let's continue on and process the claims that we've entered today. Click on process claims. You'll then click on the green plus sign to create a new batch of claims. You'll enter the description, type, and how you'd like it to be processed. Once entered, you will save the batch and then generate the claims. Now you're ready to send the claims to the insurance company. By the way, if you need to, the system gives you the options to filter these claims in a variety of ways. You can filter by insurance, patients, providers, locations, patient types, or you can just generate all the transactions at once. Now we'll generate our claims by clicking on the Generate button. You can choose how you would like to generate the batch, be it paper, print to file, or print ANSI EDI format. Once the doctor has paid for these claims via mail or electronically, whichever your client prefers, you'll receive the Explanation of Benefits, or EOB. From here, you can then manage the receivables and post payments to each patient account. Our system offers three different ways to post payments. They're all easy. They just go from easy to easier. I'd like to demonstrate this for you because posting payments can be very time consuming with other systems. If you can save time by posting payments efficiently, then you can spend more time expanding your business. If an average person can handle billing for several average size clinics, then by working more efficiently, they could double their performance. Now, by looking at the EOB, you will create a new receivable. You'll enter the date received, where it was received from, and the description of the payer. You'll enter all the necessary information into the remaining fields and save the receivable. Once saved, you'll notice the new receivable on the first line. 
Now you'll need to apply all of the payments and adjustments to this receivable until it is fully paid. Now there are three different ways to apply these payments. The most simplistic way is to click on your receivables and then click apply payments. You'll then select the patient that you are going to be applying payments and adjustments for. You'll click on the line item and then you'll click on apply payments or apply adjustments. The second way to apply payments is to use the advanced payment console. By clicking on that button, a check mark will appear. Now highlight the receivable you wish to work with and click apply payments. You'll then find the patients you wish to apply payments for and double click on them. Now click on the find claims and enter payments button. All of the claims will come up in line item account and grid format where you can then quickly navigate through the claims using the arrows or tab keys to enter all of the payments and adjustments very quickly. However, this is still not the fastest way to post payments. Let me show you how ERA works. ERA stands for Electronic Remittance Advice. This is a way that you can electronically post all of your payments automatically, and this can save you an abundance of time in the billing process. First, click on ERA. The Electronic Remittance Advice screen will pop up, and you'll click on the button in the upper right-hand corner. From here, you'll select the ERA file you wish to post by double-clicking on it. It will then show up on the left-hand side of the ERA screen. When you click on the amount, it will populate all the payment and adjustment information on the right-hand side of the screen. If you were to post this payment manually, depending upon your quickness, it may take you as long as a half hour to post. Before I post this payment, I'd like to show you the excellent feedback that insurance companies include with each item. The information provided here can really help enhance your billing process. When you click on the Save button, it will automatically post all of these payments electronically into the system. Now that took just about three seconds. Talk about efficiency. Let me show you another example. This is a larger check for nearly $4,000. Once you pull it up, just click on the Save button and the system starts posting payments and adjustments exactly where they need to go. Now, if you did this process manually, it could take you anywhere from one to two hours. If it does not find a perfect match, it does not post it. Sometimes this happens because some claims weren't filed electronically, so payments may not get processed the same way. In this case, you'll post a small remaining balance manually, and it will finish in just a few seconds. Now with ERA, you didn't even need to create the receivable in the first place. Our ERA system includes solid validation with audit trail. Go into the created receivable, you can see how it was labeled as ERA, and by right-clicking on the receivable, you'll see exactly how the payments were applied. If you would like to reverse your posting, simply delete the receivable and all the transactions get reversed perfectly. Lastly, let's review how to generate all your patient statements at once. Go to the Process Claims tab, click on Statements, then click on the green plus sign, and then select the bill from dates for the time frame you wish to view. This gives you the ability to generate all of your patient statements from specific dates at once, instead of viewing each patient separately, like I showed you earlier. This is just one more way to streamline your time and enhance service to your doctors. Our system even gives you the ability to custom design your own patient statements. I hope you enjoyed our time together today. Remember, you can purchase our sampler package from ClaimTech.com. This includes a sample of each one of the marketing materials you'll receive with your business package, a demo copy of our MedOffice software, which I just showed to you, an audio CD that explains the history of ClaimTech and the viability of the industry, as well as a copy of Claim Success, the book our founder and CEO wrote, which explains everything you need to know to start a successful medical billing company. The small cost of the sampler package goes towards the purchase of your new business program. We want you to know that what you're buying is going to be the best of the best, and we feel the sampler package will show you just that. We look forward to welcoming you to the Claim Tech team.